Hi there, how are you? In this video, I'm going to explain you the science homework. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, once you get on the blog, you will see this paper, okay? This is the science homework for today. The first exercise is to click on this link and watch a video about the primary stat. It's a video to review what we have studied. Okay, this is what you are going to see. I'm not going to show you this video because it's better if I show you another example. Okay, so if you click here, you will have a video. Note this one, this is an example. Because I have to explain you how this works. This is not a normal video, okay? You are going to play the video and at some point, the video is going to stop and a question is going to appear here, okay? El video se va a parar en algunos momentos, donde veis aquí estas eh, flechitas, se va a parar el video y os hará una pregunta, ¿de acuerdo? We are going to see the example. For example, the video has stopped and we ask, what is she? And we have three options, at the classroom, at the playground and the library. We click on the answer that we think is the correct one. And we click here, submit. El programa automáticamente nos va a decir si hemos eh, respondido bien o mal. Le damos a continue. And the next question, we are going to answer it wrong. Vamos a responder mal, adrede, para ver qué es lo que pasa. Al responder mal, nos indica que no hemos acertado y nos señala cuál es la respuesta correcta. ¿De acuerdo? We continue until we finish the video, okay? And at the end, you will have all the answers that are correctly answered and those who are wrong. Going back to the homework, the next exercise you have to do is a worksheet, okay? So you click on the link and you have three exercises. The first one, what jobs belong to the primary sector? Y os indicamos, escribir todo con minúsculas y poniendo coma entre una palabra y otra. ¿Por qué? Porque si no lo hacéis así, os lo contará como mal. Si escribís con alguna mayúscula o sin poner comas, aunque esté bien, os lo contará mal. Tened en cuenta. The second exercise. Match the types of farming to the pictures. Hay que arrastrar las palabras. We have dry crops, extensive farming and irrigated crops. For example... ¿Ok? Arrastramos y colocamos en el sitio que creamos. And the third one, read the definitions and complete the words. Leer las definiciones y completar las palabras. Y nos volvemos a, nos vuelven a indicar. Escribe todo con minúsculas, por lo mismo que os he dicho antes, ¿de acuerdo? Raising animals such as cows, pigs or sheep. What activity of the primary sector is this? Is it crop farming, fishing, stock breeding? This sector gets food from the sea, extracting minerals from beneath the ground. Beneath significa debajo. Okay? So, you know, when you answer, you click on terminado, enviar mis respuestas a mi profesora y rellenamos. It's name, nuestro curso, la asignatura science, and mi correo. Okay, o el de esperarla, si queréis. So, in this case, I got zero from that. I hope you have more luck. So, I think you understand everything. See you next week. Bye-bye.